Hello babes, it's me Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella, back to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. Today is my October faves. So if you want to see what my favorites have been for the month, stay right here. Brown Girl Bella. start off with a little skincare and the toner that I have been loving this past October is not a stranger to my favorite. It is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This toner is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, abrutin, and licorice root extract and it helps to brighten and improve the texture of your skin I enjoy this because when I use my cleanser afterwards I might feel like there's a little bit of residue still on the skin and this really helps grab a hold of anything that might be still on the skin and takes it away instantly. I also love that it has a moisturizing component in here that really helps the skin feel luxurious and hydrated and great to the touch. So as you can see from the cotton round, excuse the hair, from the cotton round, there wasn't much dirt on the skin. Itacha rice wash. It's another fave of mine that I like to use in the fall and winter months when my skin really needs more hydration because of the forced air that comes in when you're heating the home. Next, I like to go in with the Clinique and this is the All About Eyes Serum. It's a deep puffing and moisturizing property for your under eyes. I love it because I keep it in my skincare refrigerator so the round ball is very cold to the touch and it is great for under eyes. Especially if you're puffy under there or you have dark circles or um, deep inset eyes like myself it is great to put on next I follow that with the Ole Hendrickson banana eye brightening cream this also has been a fave of mine for months and I'm about to change up now that the weather is changing to the Silk Peony by Tatcha for my under eye because that's what I use in the winter months but for summer and spring especially if you have allergies like myself grab this it's really helpful and I just pat the excess into my under eye and I leave it there. I don't massage it till it's all the way in. I like to, for it to absorb in the skin. So those are my skincare faves. The last two I'm going to show you are the Tatcha Brightening Serum. This is the Violet C by Tatcha. It is a Japanese angelic root and it has dual vitamin C. It's good for all skin types. I use about one to two pumps and I put it on the skin and then pat it in and then lastly I will go in with my Clinique Moisture Surge and I'll put a dot everywhere and then massage it into the skin. Mm -hmm. 
The only thing I haven't shown you that I use is the Tatcha. And that is the essence from Tatcha. And that is because I ran out. <laughs> so hopefully at the Sephora sale that's coming up, I'll be able to get another one because I need it. I miss it. The essence just after toning just gives your skin such a luxurious feeling. It just feels like silk on your skin. But everything that I've used thus far, I really love as well. So that was all of the skincare. Let's now go into makeup. All right, for makeup, I've been loving the new by E. Saint Laurent. This is the balm and it's called Glow and Balm. I use about this much for all over the face. And then I rub it in Like I said before, there is a bit of fragrance in here, but it's not overpowering at all. And when you rub it into the skin, it does dissipate. So it's not like you'll be smelling that fragrance all over your skin all day. It really seeps in and just helps for the next step, which is the um, tinted moisturizer to set in and this is bare look tint in in u17 this is the color that i wear i really really have enjoyed this foundation very lightweight very easy to manage comfortable to wear i'm going to use the classic base to just blend that all in and it just looks and feels like second skin which I love plus for like I said a product by Eastlake and all it's $38 so I really enjoy the price point as well doesn't hurt the pockets to follow it up with my other fave which is the forever skin correct by christian dior and this is in the shade 4.5 me uh 4.5 neutral not medium 4.5 neutral i just put two dots underneath that eye And then using that same jumbo blender, I work that product in. I also like to use the Milk Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Medium. And I use this not as a foundation stick, but as a eye primer. So I put this on my eyelids. And then I take a synthetic brush and I work that product across the eyelids. Next, to lock in that concealer and to keep my eyelids from creasing, I go in with Mother Pat's. And this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. Looks like this. And then I take a little bit of it and I pat it underneath the eye. For eyeshadow, you know what I'm going to choose. Mother it's Pat McGrath. This is her latest holiday collection. It is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey. Here are the beautiful colors contained within. I love it. And so let's just dive in. So I'm going to go to this one first, and that is Sunrise Amber, and with that I'm going to throw it into the crease.
getting a little bit more of the Sunrise Amber as we deepen it up a bit. And when you got it as deep as you want it, you can go in with the next shade, which I'm going to use this one all the way at the other end, this deeper brown, and that is Nocturne. I'm also going to use the Wayne Goss Essential Eye Coal in Rich Hazel to line. And I'm going to take a Sonia G brush. This is the flat definer. I'm gonna go into Nocturno and I'm gonna just smoke out the lower lash line. For the crease, I'm gonna use the color Bronze Eclipse. No, sorry, I'm going to use Palladium, which is next to Citrine Envy, the green color on the last line of rows of shadows. This is why I wanted to use Palladium. Pat it in so it does not produce fallout. To brighten up that inner corner, I'm going to go and dip my number two brush by Ruffer into Galactic Glow which is this color right over here, Galactic Glow. And then I'm gonna put in the inner corner to brighten it even more. Galactic Glow is just such a beautiful color especially for that inner tear duct. It gives you such a brightening, vivid look to your eyes. Even when you're not putting on lashes, it just brings out your lashes that you have. It's a wonderful color. So now I'm going to go into my favorite So now I'm going to go into my favorite mascaras. I'm going to start off with MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash because I love this wand. And if I'm not using my Shiseido or my rougher eye curler, I reach for this because it really does the same job. forget about the Mother Pat Dark Star Mascara. Drop it low and wiggle, 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 wiggle. For my cheeks, I'm going to use the Westman Atelier in Bichette on the cheeks. And then use my favorite brush, one of my favorites, the Classic Cheek, to buff it in. I love the way Bichette gives me my skin a nice, healthy glow. This is the perfect cheek for this time of year. I love it. And then 
for highlight, I'm gonna go dip back into an old favorite of mine. This is Whisper of Guilt by MAC Cosmetics. I love this, especially around the holidays. It just gives you such a beautiful glow to the skin. Lastly, for bronzer, I'm gonna also go back to an old fave. This is Lauric Tantalizer. You can see, I also love the highlighter so much I hit pan. But this bronzer is perfect for that in-between season. When it's not quite winter and it's still fall, Get a nice, rich, even bronze to your skin, but not overpowering, so it looks like, you know, you're doing a little too much there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's top it off with a vibrant lip. The lip, I'm going to use my Tom Ford. This one is called Phantom. And I'm going to use a ColourPop BFF number four to line my lips. I love the shine that Tom Ford lip glosses give me. It's just a really comfortable luxe gloss. When you slide it on, you know you're putting on something that is fan fantastic it stays on even when i'm putting my mask on and off it still has a little bit of residue on the lip which is just perfect but i like to lather it on a little bit thicker so that it wears a little less each time i take the mask off and put it back on so i love that and then finally we're going to use a little pixie this is the Skin Treats Glow Misk, and this has argon oil and propolis, but it gives you a nice, healthy, luminous glow to the skin. Hold, please. There we are. And this is the completed October Faves look. I used a little bit of things that were already in my arsenal mixed with some new things that I've tried recently to create this face. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you are new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload. Until next time, you have now been bellified.